Hey, welcome back everyone. Happy Monday to you. Hope everyone's weekend was great. Uh, we're off here to the start of another work week. That also means one good thing that comes out of Mondays, TTMs. Mondays have shown to be pretty much the best day of the week when it comes to getting graphs in the mail. And this Monday, uh, no exception. Uh, we have seen as many as, let's say, six or seven returns on a given Monday, but, um, you know, hey, getting four back in one day, I will gladly take that. Um, informed delivery actually had shown that I was going to be getting three back, and so we ended up with a bonus one, this one here from Boston Mass. Um, that was one that didn't show up on my informed delivery. I pretty much know which one that one is, so I'm going to do that one last. Uh, but we got three other ones that came in, Wilmington, Delaware, Santa Barbara, California, and Minneapolis, Minnesota. Um, I have decent ideas on a couple of these and then one I have no clue on. Uh, but let's go ahead and hop right in and see what the day brings us. All right, so first up, let's go ahead and start in Wilmington, Delaware. Um, I've got a feeling, I think I know which one this one is, and uh, if it is, this is a really, really quick return, like we're talking a week's time with it. So let's see what we get here. All right, so we got something here. No, so this was, uh, yeah, this is the one I thought, yeah. Gary Dornhofer, old uh, Philadelphia Flyer. This came back in like a week's time, pretty much. Um, Dorney is a great signer. He is uh, really good signing for the fans. Um, only thing, he has a tendency, he puts his uh, cards back in too quickly. So you see there's uh, some smearing on this one. Not too bad, but that was the main uh, offender with it. Let's see, that one, that one looks good. Uh, that one looks good, the Parkhurst, and then, uh, the old school, what is 71, 72, I think this one is, 72, 73 tops, um, which, if you guys have watched enough videos of mine, you'll, you recognize that set of cards now, because I've been working on getting those signed, um, here and there. What I really need to do is I need to pick up a, another lot of those somewhere along the line here, um, and, uh, Continue to work on the set there. So a nice 4-4 return. Like I said, lightning fast. Like inside of a week that those came back. So good start to the day there. Uh, next up, let's go out to Santa Barbara, California. And this looks like it probably has some type of an envelope or something with it. And it is tape sealed here. So let's see what we're getting back here. All right. And we do have something added in here. All right, cool. All right, this is really cool. Mark Summers, the host of Double Dare. So, um, wrote to him and sent out a couple of his Allen and Ginter cards. And so signed the three of three. But this is what's really cool. So, got my letter that I wrote here. He actually wrote on the back of it, take the physical challenge, Mark Summers. So that's way cool, just kind of adding that in there. Um, so that was really neat, and uh, signed the three uh, copies of the Allen and Ginter for me. So really stoked to get that back. I um, I had found that I had these these Allen and Ginters just kind of sitting around there, and uh, figured what the heck, let's go and send them out. I saw he was still signing, so really really cool return there. So an awesome with the bonus there. All right, that one I had no idea on. That was that was the California return, so that one was kind of neat to get back. Um, up next, we've got a return coming back out of Minneapolis. It's got a Christmas stamp on here, so I I don't know if that's the case where I had that as a leftover stamp or if this is one that's kind of been out for a little while. Um, kind of hard to know for sure, just with the way that stuff goes. So hard to know. Yeah, this is one actually that had been out for a while. So, a uh, nice return back here. Jamie Langenbrunner. I actually was just looking at his stuff the other day going, man, I wonder if I'm going to get that stuff back or not. And the um, interesting thing with Langenbrunner is this was the second attempt to write to him. Um, I sent the first time and I got an RTS. Uh, apparently, I had the wrong street address that went with it. So, um, 
went ahead and I sat on it for a while and then I finally got around to sending it back out and uh, Jamie did not disappoint did the five of five for me and as you can tell they're all USA World Juniors cards so um, uh, I've been starting to work on a little bit more on some of my USA stuff I've got some TTMs that are going out this week um, specifically around the USA and, and Canada hockey programs so um, Hopefully we'll get some some cool returns that come back with it. But yeah, this was his uh, SP, his upper deck, his uh, score, his Donruss, and then this was a um, um, this was like a Parkhurst like weird insert set of sorts. Um, and I'm looking here at the card, and I can't quite tell. Like there's an imaging that's on the on this here, and I can't tell. If you can kind of see, see like this kind of this coloring that's right there that goes through there. I don't know if that's actually on the card itself. Oh, yeah. So, duh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> so if you look here, it looks like it's all shadowing. And I didn't even take into account looking at the uh, referee and the fact that this is just uh, a mirror image. And they're the, <laughs> the advertisement on the boards. That's what that is flipped over. <laughs> Durr. So, uh, but no, with this Langenbrunner, uh, what's cool with this is this was a Parkhurst card, and they did a whole thing on the World Junior Championships that year. Um, but you don't see these cards as often around. So, um, everybody was cracking open all this other stuff here. That was an insert set in Donruss, and these three were part of the base sets. Um, but the Parkhurst uh, World Juniors cards you don't see as often. So, um, stoked to get all those back and a great add to the USA hockey collection. And speaking of USA hockey, I think just based on the thickness of the envelope here and the fact that this is coming back from Boston and the person that I'm hoping that this is, is really, really fast with doing, uh, TTM returns. I'm hoping that this is an iconic autograph here. Let's see. No, okay, so it is not. It is actually um, Bob Cousy, Boston Celtics legend. Um, he signs, I, kn I know he signs one and he personalizes. I sent a second one in there just to see what would happen with it. And he did just sign the one, which is totally cool. Um, one of the things with uh, Cousy is he personalizes everything that comes through the mail. He's happy to sign, but he personalizes. So, um totally fine with that and that's a pretty cool card i actually had just recently come across it this was the original one i was going to send out to him it's a um signature rookie so they had to airbrush out all the logos um so you see it doesn't have the boston logo uh on his jersey there um but uh right when i was getting ready to send this out i actually pulled this out of uh a box I was searching through so I was like man that looks way better so went ahead and sent that out to him so cool cool return there all right so let's recap how we did on the day um we did four for four in getting our graphs um we ended up and sorry because I know it's going to be a little bit tight in the picture frame here I still gotta work on a replacement here after I broke my uh my holder for uh my uh for my phone cam my camera phone camera phone whatever <laughs> after i busted that thing the other day uh that we had talked about uh but one out of two from bob cousy um a nice five out of five return from jamie langenbrunner a three of three plus bonus uh from mark summers and I'm just gonna show that there for a second mm -hmm. And then lastly, a four of four from Gary Dornoffer. So all in all for the day, we are looking at, uh, what do we got here? We got eight all together there, plus another five is 13, plus the bonus. So uh, 14 graphs on the day. So not a bad way to start out the week. Um, got some uh, legendary players here and uh, legendary host to Double Dare, Mark Summers. So that was pretty cool. I, I really like getting that. Um, so good start to the week. Like I said, um, I, I've been working on sending out some uh, USA uh, hockey stuff. 
I uh, found some addresses over the weekend from some of the guys that were like in the World Junior Tournaments and the Olympic programs from like the early 90s. So got those getting ready to go out and uh, hopefully get some quick turnarounds on them. And that follows up with, I think, gosh, in the last week or so, not like this weekend, but like for over probably like the, we'll say the last 10 days or so prior, I think in total I'd sent out somewhere around like 30 to 35 TTMs. I, I just kind of got in a groove with it after having been slack for a couple of weeks. So I kind of, that'll, that's kind of what'll happen with me is I'll let stuff kind of build up and I'll put stuff together and put stuff together. And then when I'm ready, I just kind of sit down and just bang it all out. So, um, that's what we got. And it's a little bit of a mix of everything that's going out, to be honest. Um, like literally just about every sport out there and, uh, trying with some wrestling autographs as well, seeing if I can uh, get anything back with them. So, uh, we'll see what comes up here in the coming days. So for today, let's go ahead and wrap everything up. My apologies, as you can probably tell, we're doing a PM edition here with all the shadows here, um, and the bad lighting, but wanted to go ahead and get this loaded up because tomorrow is going to be an extremely busy day for me. Uh, so as always, everyone, thanks for spending some time with me. Always appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, feel free to leave any comments or questions, suggestions. Always happy to interact with you guys. And uh, hope everyone is staying safe out there and uh, having fun. And uh, if your TTMs are your thing, hope your mailboxes continue to stay full of ink. So until next time, everyone, see ya.